The weather brought to you by NRMA Insurance. Heart disease is Australia's biggest killer, but tonight help is on the way. A number of life-saving medicines are about to be added to the PBS, taking the cost of some scripts from thousands of dollars to just 42. Terry Griffin says running saved his life after the 42-year-old suddenly developed symptoms of heart failure earlier this year. I only got these symptoms while I was running. Um, so about six minutes into every run, I'd get a tightness in my chest. Terry saw his GP and underwent a double bypass just two weeks later. If I hadn't listened to those symptoms, I, I wouldn't be here now. There's no two ways about that. Terry's cardiologist recommended he take Vicuvo, an expensive medicine that treats the symptoms of chronic heart failure by relaxing blood vessels around the artery. We've had to tighten our purse strings. A bit, absolutely. To give more people the option of having this medication, it can only be good. And that's about to happen. From December 1, Vacuvo will be listed on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme for the first time, and the price of Repartha will drop, a medicine to treat high cholesterol. People with heart disease, we really need to get that level down as low as possible. Now, we've known for a long time that one of the key factors that causes heart attacks and strokes is having a high cholesterol level. Vacuvo currently costs around $2,000 a year, while Repartha will set you back almost $4,000. The PBS listings mean a single script will soon cost $42.50. Concessions will pay just $6.80. Heart disease causes a quarter of all deaths every year and while thousands of Australians will benefit from these cheaper medicines, there's now a push to pick up heart conditions before they become a problem. A review is tonight underway to make a heart health checkup with a GP permanently covered by Medicare, the potentially life-saving measure due to end next June. I've said I'm very supportive of it, but obviously this review is important. We'll, we'll, um, we'll talk more about it once the review evidence is in. Ashley Wick, Nine News. Let's take a look now at your full forecast with Gary Youngbury, who joins us once again live from Miami. Gaz, as you mentioned, the last couple of days of spring, what's in store for us this week? Oh, a bit of everything this week, Jono. Uh, hot tomorrow to start the working week. Throw in some showers, even some thunderstorms. But then the middle and end of the week, we're not only looking at cooler temperatures, but a wet start to summer. In fact, we'll see some heavy falls as we get later into Wednesday, Thursday and even Friday. We'll get to that in your seven-day outlook. But the storms fired up this afternoon across southeast Queensland. Let's go straight to the radar, show you that activity sort of mid-afternoon. Heaviest falls around the northern suburbs. 77 millimetres at North Pine Dam, 48 millimetres at the tail end of those storms just bringing a few showers right now on the Sunshine Coast. Let's take a look at temperatures over southeast Queensland. The low was 14 in the Gold Coast hinterland. Uh, a high of 31 today. Caboolture, 30 in Ipswich, Archerfield, Greenbank, 29 in Brisbane, 28 in Redcliffe, the Golden Sunshine Coast, 22 the max in Toowoomba. To the weather map, hot and humid air interacting with a trough will generate rain and storms over the tropics and down through eastern Queensland. A front crossing the southeast corner of our country will deliver cooler temperatures and showers over Tassie and southern Victoria. Interstate, we're looking at a sunny and hot day in Perth. Temperatures just pushing into the 30s. Cloudy and 17 for Hobart. Mostly sunny in Canberra and Sydney, a top of 23 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms on the way for Darwin and 32. So Queensland for Monday to start the working week. Showers and thunderstorms in Cairns and Townsville. Late showers for Mackay, Gladstone and Rocky. Showers and Thunderstorms inland. The heaviest falls they will be up in the northwest of the state. Lighter falls down through the Maranoa. Partly cloudy in the Wide Bay and Burnett with a possible shower. Here in the southeast, partly cloudy for Monday. Showers and thunderstorms developing inland, strengthening north to northwest winds during the morning. Overnight temperatures 17 to 21. Daytime temperatures around 30 on the coast and bay side. We're looking at mid 30s for the western suburbs. Morton Bay, northerlies 15 even to 25 knots. The seas a metre and and a half on the bay up to two metres offshore. So brizzy tomorrow, partly cloudy, strengthening northerlies, a top 
of 32 degrees, possible late thunderstorms. So seven day outlook, late showers and storms Tuesday, rain developing Wednesday, heavier falls Thursday and only 22 degrees Thursday, Friday 25 with a shower or two. Ipswich, late showers and storms Tuesday, rain developing Wednesday, uh, more so for the afternoon, heavier falls then into Thursday, possible shower Friday. For the Goldie, cloudy Tuesday, afternoon showers and possible storms, rain developing Wednesday with heavier falls into Thursday, a few showers Friday. And the Sunshine Coast, showers Tuesday, possible storms, rain for Wednesday and into Thursday. Now over those two days we could see anywhere between 50 and 100 millimetres but then just a shower for Friday should clear a little bit for the weekend. So some heavy falls heading our way towards the end of the week, John. Gary, good on you. Thank you. Now before we go, here's Amelia Adams with a quick look at what's coming up on tonight's edition of 60 Minutes. Thanks, Jono. Tonight... Just thought he was unstoppable. Brazen from the very first offence. Solving a 37-year mystery. This is a huge amount of evidence. Inside the police investigation... We went back five generations. ..that unmasked the monster who attacked women at will... He was very clever, very cunning. ..and terrorised a city. It's perverted. Filthy. Disgusting. This is his legacy. He's just a rapist. That's tonight after Lego Masters. Back to you, Jono. Amelia, thank you. And that is 9 News Queensland this Sunday. Thanks for your company. I'm Jonathan Upton from all of us here. Good night.